Welcome to Wiley Plus. Within Wiley Plus, you can see Orion or a different view. You can look straight down the middle and see the Orion tab. By clicking on Orion, it takes us directly into the instructor dashboard, which immediately presents you with a high level view of student activity. In other words, how many students are interacting with Orion cumulatively, how many questions they've attempted, and how many total hours have been spent. You can also see that there is a view for any discussions that there are taking place. And this bar graph distributes that across months. So February, there was a very high usage of Orion, but that tapers off through May based on the number of hours that the class as a whole has spent. Looking at the class as a whole, you can scroll down and then see that by chapter, their performance as well as their proficiency is displayed. Performance deals with the number of questions that were answered correctly out of 20. So in this case, five out of 20 questions were answered correctly. Proficiency not only takes into account the number of questions that were answered correctly, but also the level of confidence input by students, ranging from least confident to most confident with their answers. Chapter eight shows the least amount of proficiency for the class. Whereas chapter one at the bottom here in yellow shows more proficiency, 30% in this case versus 8% in the case of chapter eight. Notice the report here is selected for the weakest seven chapters, but you could also take a look at all of the chapters that are specific to those that were assigned. You are then able to drill down into more detail to gain more insights about how your class is performing. This report is called a performance report, which outlines class performance by chapters. Across each chapter, you can see that chapter four had the greatest number of questions attempted, approximately 800 questions. But you can also see how many of the questions that were answered within chapter four were answered incorrectly. So clearly chapter four is showing that students are having issues and a great conversation starter when it comes to helping them work through those. If you wanted to drill down further into the specific chapter, you can click on the chapter and then you are brought to the specific objectives associated with that chapter. You can see here that the objective 4.9, which if clicked on, shows that every single question attempted was answered incorrectly. This objective listed here, understand the methods and calculations used in titrations and chemical analyses, is clearly showing an issue among students and should be a, and would be a candidate to be addressed in class. If we were to click back to the high level class performance by chapters, below your class graph are listed all of the students that have completed the questions. Here you can see that Anke Mordano is the least proficient student in the class. And if we were to scroll down, you can see that Rashad Dowdy is the most proficient student with 82% proficiency. So again, a clear view of how each individual student is doing in this particular chapter. If you wish to reach out to Anke, you can do so by selecting his name and then emailing him directly so that you can begin a conversation or at least letting him know that you are aware of his struggles within Orion and the content itself. 
Other reports that are available to you include the productivity report, which shows you the amount of time spent versus the level of proficiency. The metacognitive report, which takes into account the level of confidence versus proficiency. So you can see here that many students are not only not proficient, but also lacking the confidence. But surprisingly, even some of these students that are excuse me, showing somewhat confident or proficient, they are in this lower left quadrant demonstrating that there are some confidence issues. Most challenging activities report shows you which chapters or objectives are causing the greatest issues among students. We can then flip over to the student side by viewing as a student to get in a sense of what they are looking at. In this world of metrics and big data that students are required to become accustomed to, this is a great introduction to having students look at a metrics dashboard. Immediately students are presented with a chapter list for all of the chapters in the text and the respective pre-assessment which can be completed to allow students to start developing a sense of what the required incoming knowledge is for any particular chapter. So you can see here that chapter one has already been started and completed by the class whereas chapter two this particular class in this case student has yet to begin. These are great to assign at the beginning of the chapters. Once a diagnostic is started and some data is populated, you can quickly see, the student can quickly see, exactly where they are having the biggest issues. So in this case, this student does not have a tremendous amount of issue with understanding how errors and measurements occur. However, they can see that their proficiency is the lowest with understanding how we came to know about the structure of the atom. So it would behoove this student to, outside of class, further study this objective. By clicking the study button, this would take them back into Wiley Plus to the specific objective related resources so they can then learn more about it. Then they could come back practice some more and Orion would provide them additional questions that relate to that specific objective which you can see here. Students also have access to the same type of reports that instructors do that gives them that pinpointed efficient idea of where they need to focus their energies. So this is the most challenging activities report, productivity report. Again, this is for a single student. Um, so as they work within Orion, some more, more questions answered will populate more insightful data. Lastly, students can also look at all of the activity that they've completed within Orion in the form of a timeline. This timeline includes milestones that are associated with things that they have completed in Orion. So in this case a diagnostic was completed by the student. It would also show any questions that students have marked for review as well as any notes or discussions that the student has started. So if we were to go back to the student's report and take a look at the questions that the student has answered. For example, student chooses to practice, they can interact with the system by 
not just answering the question, but if they are unsure of the answer to the question, here at the bottom of the screen, they can mark that question for review to either discuss with a professor or another classmate. Here is where they mark their level of confidence. I don't know in this case. And then that would be captured in the journal report for the student. So having just done so, let's go back and see what that looks like for this particular student. You can see here that question that I just marked for review now pops up in the student's timeline. They could quickly and efficiently see whether in the next couple days or three months later some of the questions and concepts that they had issues about. So I hope this was helpful to provide you with some insight as to how Wiley Plus, specifically Orion in this case, can address some of the frustrations and issues that you expressed during our meeting. Thank you and I look forward to continuing the conversation.